In this video, I'm going to quickly take you through using LOL Miner to mine to nice hash using otherwise unsupported graphics cards. We're going to try using three different cards of various ages, each with two gigabytes of memory. So let's get started. First, we need to download and unzip LOL Miner. In this test, I tried using both LOL Miner version 1.31 and 1.46a. It's worth noting that neither version changed the results. Your mileage may vary, however, so if the latest version of LOL Miner doesn't work for you, you might try using an older version to see if that changes anything. Since standalone mining programs like LOL Miner are almost always flagged as malware by Windows Defender, we're going to need to temporarily disable it. Also because of malware flags, we won't be able to use a Chromium based browser such as Chrome or Brave to download LOL Miner, so we're going to have to pull out Edge and use that instead. Now I'm going to create a folder on the desktop called LOL Miner and add a malware exclusion to it so we can turn our Windows Defender back on after we unzip the program into it. Now that that's done, let's turn Windows Defender back on and add our settings to LOL Miner. The file we're going to edit is called mine-btg.bat. There are only two lines we need to change in this file. The pool setting line, we're going to get off of NiceHash's algorithms page. The wallet setting line is made from your NiceHash's wallet address, a period, and a minor name of your choosing. So here we see what the file originally looked like and what the edited version looks like. Some things you want to keep in mind are, You'll want to make sure you choose the zhash algorithm URL from the NiceHash algorithm page. Replace the word location in the NiceHash URL with USA, EU, USA East, USA West, EU North, or EU West, whichever is closest to you. Be sure to replace the example wallet address with your own mining address from NiceHash. Now be sure to save the file and let's try testing out the cards. First up is the ATI Radeon HD 5450. This is a really old card, but it does have 2GB of memory and 80 shading units, but let's give it a try. Once the drivers were updated, giving it a run with LOL Miner, and it would not recognize the card as being compatible for mining. Next up is the NVIDIA GT 730. A 2GB Kepler version with 384 CUDA cores, this card has been pretty hit or miss when I've tried mining with it in the past. LOL Miner recognizes this card and attempts to mine with it, but the hash rate never goes above zero and it seems to crash over and over. So looks like a failure here as well. For the third attempt, we have the AMD Radeon R7 350. With two gigabytes of memory and 512 shaders, I've successfully mined with this model card in the past, so it should be no problem. And success! The card is up and running, mining to nice hash. So there you have it, a quick and dirty rundown on how to sometimes mine to nice hash using unsupported cards. If you have any questions or problems getting your cards to work, please leave a comment and thanks so much for watching.